And from t-shirts to treasures, a local company's unique way to preserve your favorite t-shirts. You want to be fashion forward like this guy, or at least not get rid of all your old t-shirts? I'm Catherine Leaf. I'll let you know how to do it coming up next. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Well, who out there doesn't have a drawer full of favorite t-shirts, none of which you've worn in years? So true. Instead of turning them into rags or worse, throwing them away, why not get creative about it? Kat Greenleaf is here with a very interesting idea. Kat? Good morning, everybody. You know, I'm glad you said it's an interesting idea because I thought I had this idea first, but as it turns out, <laughs> I didn't at all because uh, it does seem like everyone has tons of T-shirts, and yet for many of us, we don't have a lot of T-shirt wearing opportunities because we can't always wear them to work. So what do you do if you don't feel like giving up your first boyfriend's basketball shirt or all your Grateful Dead concert T-shirts, Rob Morrison? Well, luckily, there's a solution. Well, come in because this is T-shirt land. And there is the king of t-shirts. And we keep them in separate quarters because we have so many. Paula and Mike Reitzman have a few hundred t-shirts between them. This is one we got uh, when we were on jury duty, which is where we met. We belong to a lot of Sherlock Holmes groups. So we have the Baker Street t-shirts. This company, I think, is out of business. But that, uh, the shirt still works. The most important one to me, I believe, are the survivor shirts. I've been seven and a half years cancer free. But while Paula likes to hang on to memories, she also likes to make things neat. Mike has a problem with that. I just don't like to throw things out. Paula loves to throw things out, especially my things. She says it's not her fault. Well, we got to the point where uh, there was no more room in the drawers and things were kind of overflowing. So we put them in a box and I mailed them off. She sent them off to another married couple, Ariella Schulman and Jason Friedman, who take your old t-shirts and sew them into colorful quilts. We do everything from a twin size to a king size and we have pillows and crib quilts as well. The 26-year-old couple started their company, Stitched, when they themselves became overrun with t-shirts. Forget about closets. Our apartment is the size of a closet. So. Orders are placed to their website, t-shirts are mailed, and then they are cut, squared, laid out, and sewn together with a sweatshirt backing. So is it just t-shirts? Is there anything else that you guys will sew into a quilt? Um, well, basically anything that you'd feel comfortable washing with your t-shirts in a washing machine and drying together with them, we're happy to incorporate into a quilt. Anything you won't incorporate? Um, I socks would say and underwear. socks and underwear. Yeah. Right. Who wants to see that? Not us. <laughs> Prices range between $70 for a pillow and 500 bucks for a king size quilt. Ariella and Jason, of course, say the price is just right. Priceless. No, I don't think memories are priceless. Memories are priceless. <laughs> and the Reitzmans agree. You look at the t-shirts and you laugh and you remember. And that's the best part. And it means we can keep all the t-shirts. <laughs> So if you'd like to learn more about how to hang on to those tees for a lifetime, start at our website, WMBC.com. I have so many shirts that I never wear. You know, I'm moving this weekend, and I've been packing them all up, and I was thinking of sending them to my mom, and because she's a quilter, and uh, as it turns out, they don't have to go all the way to my mom to California. They can go right here. Yeah. But like I said, I thought I had this great idea. Not mm. so much. Yeah, I like it. It's yeah. a very good idea. I do too. Yeah, mm. well, you never know. Maybe we'll all show up with uh, wrapped in T-shirt yeah. quilts one yeah. of these days. I feel, cool. I feel stressed out now, though. I think of all the T-shirts I've owned that I would have liked to keep and That's right. have no idea where they are now. Yeah. What's but ever happened you can start now. And, you know, it's a nice thing to make for your kids, for Jack or go. for all your kids, you know? Yeah, like their little shirts that they grow out of that you, re you have good memories That's a good idea. with. That's a good and, idea. Yeah. and they make crib quilts, you know, for your next round of kids. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, I, uh, anyway, on to sports. On to sports. <laughs> about the Knicks. We're all done. Yeah, no, no yes. doubt. Well, goodbye. <laughs> no, leave it at that. All right, yeah. the Knicks playoff push continues.